Hi everyone, I know it's been a really super long time since I've actually even been able to do an update. Um, due to the holidays, things have just been really super busy and um, I've actually been having a lot of computer problems which I can't even um, stay online like five minutes and it just like keeps throwing me off. So I don't know what's going on with it. I actually had to um, resort to doing a, um, a Windows Movie Maker video, um, which I don't know how well it's going to turn out, honestly. I'm just used to uploading straight from YouTube, but um, it'll take me some time to get used to, but until we get the computer fixed to find out what is going on with it, um, we'll make do. Um, I actually have been keeping track of Brooklyn's um, updates and things that she's done, her milestones, because um, I didn't want to forget them, um, just because um, their first year of their life, they grow so much, and I love looking back um, just to see, um, you know, when they did stuff, um, kind of like a baby book, um, but you get to visualize it, so. Um, at 20 weeks, I actually um, started to um, give her baby cereal, which was oatmeal. I know you can start them as early as four months, um, but she just wasn't ready, and I wanted to wait until she was ready. Um, you can look online. There's signs to look for. Um, so, um, yeah, she's been doing really great with that. Um, I still have just been giving her, like, the one tablespoon of oatmeal and um, mixing it with um, warm water. Um, I haven't really put breast milk in or anything just because um, I really don't even um, pump. Um, I do have a pump. It's just I'm with her literally 24-7, so I really don't have a need to pump. Um, but I had been mixing it with a little bit of apple juice because when I first started her on it, she was having like such irregular bowel movements. Um, normally when they are breastfed, they normally have bowel movements several times a day, every single day. So when I started her on the oatmeal, it kind of threw me off because she didn't have bowel movement for like two days. Um, and I didn't know if it was like hurting her belly or whatever. Um, she was definitely very gassy. So the um, apple juice, um, I just put a little bit in. And um, it definitely helped her a lot. Um, so, and also she was sick last week. And I put a little bit of um, orange juice in it. Um, just to kind of help her get an extra boost of um, vitamin C. And, um... Because of that, she had some nursing issues, but um, at 22 weeks, she actually rolled over for the first time, and um, she really doesn't like back or tummy time a whole lot, but I tried to make her do that just so she has like um, a different routine, kind of um, mix it up a little bit for her, because um, she definitely still gets bored very easily, um, and nobody likes a fussy baby, so... Um, that was kind of a new milestone. Um, at 22 weeks, she also had her um, four-month checkup, which her doctor's office was a little bit behind, but um, I didn't want to go find a different doctor just to make sure that she had her appointment on time. Um, it was no big deal. Um, but at her... So technically, she was like five and a half months for her four-month checkup. Um, she was 15 pounds and 26 inches long. And um, she has been grabbing her feet and putting them up to her mouth. And she's been ripping her socks off. So I've been kind of keeping her in like sleepers to help her stay warm. Um, it was already hard enough keeping her socks on because she was like kicking them off. Um, and I did go out and get some socks with like like the thicker elastic around like where their um, ankles would be and it still doesn't really help um, especially when they just want to yank them off anyway so um, at 23 weeks um, is when she got sick with a cold and she was kind of like having like neon green drainage and stuff um, but um, 
don't know. I think that it's clearing up a lot more now. So it's definitely been like a week since she's had um, her cold and it was affecting our nursing. Um, but we stuck through it and we just, you know, did what we had to do. Um, and we're back on a normal schedule and we are doing just fine with that. Um, I noticed here lately that on um, Facebook, people are saying that other people have issues with like nursing their babies and stuff while well, other people have issues with people nursing and I just think that is crazy because you know that's what your body is meant to do is to nurse your young and to take care of them so um, if you personally choose to not breastfeed that is a personal choice but why sit and talk bad about people that do choose to do so I don't really see that um, what's the point in that um, you know when I have to nurse her out in public I do have a nursing cover um, I'm not one to just <laughs> you know expose myself so um, I don't know I just don't see why people really have a big issue with that but um, it is what it is I guess um, she has outgrown her um, six months sleepers but that's just because of her height and um, due to the fact that I am still cloth diapering, um, that does add like an extra inch of like bulk to the diaper um, and to her clothes. So I think that also helps her grow out of her clothes a lot faster. But I went and got her some nine month um, sleepers and they seem to be working out pretty well. And um, she's still been sucking on her fingers. Um, Nothing's really changed with that. Um, now it's more so like her um, like other two fingers or like three of them together she'll suck on. Um, I think that it just pacifies her honestly. I don't think that um, there's really any other reason why she does it. It just helps calm her down. And um, oh, we recently actually um, have tried some new diapers. Um, we have tried the Itty Bitty Tutos. I um, purchased two of those. And um, they said they're actually very slender, and they are. And I honestly just don't think they um, work very well for us. Um, they're extremely um, slender and um, very narrow in, like, the um, crotch and bum area. So it's not covering her cheeks where I would like it to cover. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's a bit too much TMI or whatever, but um, I don't know. And especially when she has bowel movement, it definitely um, it doesn't have the coverage that we just need. So I think we've only used them like three times, um, but it is what it is. I just thought they were like really soft and I really wanted to try them. Um, and they are kind of on the expensive side, um, but, you know, that's just how you have to do it. You have to buy, um, a brand and see if it works for you, and if it doesn't, um, then you just have to kind of tr keep trying until you find one that does work, honestly, because even though they all look alike, they don't, um, function the same, honestly. Just the brands and the quality, they're just completely different, um, we have tried the Bum Genius 4.0, and I really absolutely love them. I was kind of worried at first because I kind of thought it looked a lot like the Rumparoos um, as far as, like, the style and whatnot, but um, they're not really bulky, honestly, whatsoever. So, um, yeah, that's our newest um, favorite diaper. I'm going to do a review um, for you guys on that here coming up really soon so definitely look forward to that because there is going to be a giveaway for you guys on that I actually have a few um, diaper giveaways lined up for you guys it's just because I've had so many issues with this computer they have that I haven't had the chance to even upload the videos so um, it's not that I just you know don't want to um, do videos anymore. It's just I've had some technical difficulties lately, so um, But hopefully we will get that fixed here really soon. So 
Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Brooklyn is already six months.